decades of racing has taught us a lot about building high-performance sports cars. Its looks say it was built for speed, powerful, focused, an advanced open-topped roadster with an interior like a Formula One cockpit. Its engineering, the product of 50 years of Honda technical innovation and racing know-how. The latest addition in a long line of exciting Honda high-performance cars. A driver's car. Practical and modern with plenty of comfort, convenience, and safety features, and low emissions. Its 240 horsepower dual overhead camshaft VTEC engine produces the highest horsepower per liter of any normally aspirated automobile engine in the world. Yet it runs so clean that it meets California's strict low emissions vehicle standard. A precise shifting close ratio six speed transmission and limited slip differential transfer power to 16 inch wheels shod with high performance W rated tires and an all new in wheel double wishbone suspension system combined with a near 50 50 weight distribution rigid high exponent frame and rear wheel drive gives the S2000 lively performance responsive handling and impressive cornering power. A sports car for the 21st century. A celebration of the art of driving. Just what makes the S2000 so good? Honda engineering features, such as its VTEC valve train, overhead camshafts, and double wishbone suspension. The same features you'll find on Accords, Preludes, and Civics. However, with the S2000, Honda engineers have put this technology together to create a special synergy that a performance-oriented driver will appreciate. Exceptional performance and handling were the main features Honda engineers wanted to give the S2000. Its 240 horsepower, 2.0 liter, 16 valve DOHC engine is built like a road-going version of a Honda racing engine. A 9,000 RPM redline and 120 horsepower per liter are more typical of what you would find at a racetrack. Yet, just as with other Honda automobiles, the S2000 engine's VTEC variable valve timing system ensures that ample torque is spread throughout the engine's entire RPM range. As a result, the S2000 has outstanding drivability. A new accessory drive system contributes to engine compactness, which improves weight distribution and handling. Excess drivetrain momentum and flex can interfere with throttle response and control, especially when cornering. So Honda engineers designed a highly rigid drivetrain and lightened clutch and flywheel for the S2000. The all-new six-speed manual transmission features a direct shift linkage with short throws for faster shifting. Its close ratio gear spacing ensures lively response and acceleration at any speed. At the rear, a special torque sensing differential distributes engine power evenly for better traction on slippery surfaces and when cornering. By making the S2000 engine and drivetrain compact and lightweight, Honda engineers were able to place them low and behind the axle center line. We call this mass centralization. It helps the S2000 respond more quickly to steering input and also imparts a finer degree of steering control and feel. Another important reason the S2000 handles so well is its highly rigid monocoque body and high X-bone frame. A rigid frame is a strong, stable platform for the suspension. The S2000's frame is as rigid as a closed top car's, which is to say, a lot more rigid than most roadsters. The heart of the design is its central backbone tunnel, high side sills, and front and rear X braces. Together, they help evenly distribute suspension loads from the wheels and tires. And the S2000 uses a newly developed version of Honda's famous four-wheel double wishbone suspension. 
In this case, Honda engineers designed a compact in-wheel system where both upper and lower wishbones sit within the circle of the wheel. These upper and lower wishbone arms ensure optimum geometry for handling and control. Monotube gas pressurized shock absorbers and front and rear stabilizer bars ensure a flat cornering stance and a controlled ride. The S2000's new electrically powered variable assist power steering provides excellent road feel and plenty of assistance for maneuvering and parking. And the brakes are massive 11 inch discs with high performance pads that help ensure consistent stopping power, stop after stop. An anti-lock braking system offers enhanced control during hard stopping. So the S2000 has a lot of high performance hardware but how does it drive? To find out, we asked Parker Johnstone, well-known race car driver and commentator for Kart's FedEx series on ABC Television Sports, to give us his impressions. The first time I drove the S2000, I was really impressed with the VTEC engine because between seven to 9,000 RPM, all the power came on and it was a fantastic feeling. The thing I like being a professional driver is the throttle response because in all cornering conditions, just a small change in throttle position greatly affects how the car handles, which means you've got full control over the full speed range of the S2000. The brakes give you a lot of confidence coming into a braking area because the feel and the amount of force that you have to put into the braking is proportional to exactly what you need in order to get into the corner right on the limit. Ultimately, the enjoyment that I derive from driving a car comes from how well the car handles, and this is where the S2000 really shines. Everything I do is immediately telegraphed through the suspension, through the tires, and onto the roadway. Honda has used its experience in racing, in which it's won championships all over the world, to build a great roadster, a great sports car. And because of the centralized mass, bringing all the weight towards the middle of the car, creating this 50-50 weight distribution. It allows you to use the front of the car, the back of the car, the left side, the right side, anything the driver wants to do, he can decide to do that through use of the brake pedal, the throttle pedal, great chassis design to ultimately get the most out of the car in every sort of driving situation. And it's like strapping on a race car with license plates. It's perfectly balanced in low speed, medium and high speed corners. I can trail the brakes in, rotate the back of the car, put a little correction in, some throttle, drive it all the way through the corner with the back end out a few degrees, and that's what driving's all about. This is a driver's car. The mark of a great sports car is one in which you can focus on the job of driving and not be distracted by anything going on within the cockpit. It should all be very intuitive. How much you turn the steering wheel, the feedback through the wheel, for example, in the S2000, allows you to get the car right to the limit and be very comfortable right on that edge. The shifter falls right to your hand, and it's one of the best gearboxes I've ever driven in a streetcar. It's just like a race car. A close skate, very quick shifts, and you never have to hunt for gears. And the throttle pedal is perfectly positioned for heel and toe downshifting and gives you the right measure of horsepower just when you need it most. You combine all these elements with a perfect seating position in which you're comfortably held into the car, really well supported so that you're not hanging onto the steering wheel or hanging onto the shift lever, and all these things together comprise the makings of a great sports car. Like all Hondas, the S2000 interior is designed with the driver's comfort, safety, and ease of control in mind. And in this case, a definite emphasis on high performance driving. The engine start button reminds you of the S2000's race car-like drivetrain. Critical engine data is conveyed via an easy-to-read digital instrument panel, similar to the ones used on Formula One and Champ cars. The leather-trimmed seats are highly supportive in order to hold you firmly in place during performance driving. And the controls are placed where they naturally should be for ease of use. Control, handling, performance, and Honda engineering. The S2000 is definitely built with the driver's enjoyment in mind. Of course, there's more than one way for a driver to enjoy the S2000. That's why it's equipped with a long list of comfort and convenience features. Its electrically powered soft top can be raised or lowered in just six seconds, 
so you can get out of that unexpected shower fast. High-intensity gas discharge headlights provide excellent nighttime illumination. Body color dual power mirrors add convenience. An AM-FM stereo with CD player is located in the center console behind a flip-down cover that helps protect it from the elements. Remote operated audio controls let the driver adjust the stereo with minimal distraction. The heating, ventilation and air conditioning system includes a special open mode setting that opens additional heater outlets in the instrument panel to help extend top-down driving enjoyment in cooler weather. There's a handy beverage holder. Convenient lockable storage areas are located between the seats. And the five cubic foot trunk holds enough baggage for a weekend getaway. Underneath its flowing curves, the S2000 boasts an impressive list of safety features. The body and frame structure is engineered to help protect the passengers in a full frontal, offset frontal, and rear impact as well as a rollover or side impact. Additional safety and security features include three-point seat belts with pretensioners, built-in head restraints, integrated roll bars, dual airbags, an immobilizer theft deterrent system, keyless entry for the doors and trunk, and five mile per hour bumpers. Beautiful, capable, technically advanced. A distillation of four decades of racing achievement and high performance cars. A statement by and about Honda that says even in this modern age, driving can be fun.